What is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a video talking about these NFL Draft Collections. Um, just going over about how to gain some coins, eat some easy coin, and just completing these collections. Now I had a few of these draft collectibles laying in my reserves for quite some time. And opening up packs over the weekend, I did open up some of these player cards, past the draft um, cards. And I had no intention on completing the collection for the 99 Manziel, which if you collected, if you got all these elite cards, you could put them in one collection and get that 99 Johnny Manziel, which I really want. I am planning on acquiring him this weekend. Um, hopefully his price goes down. Um, that's what everybody is speculating. So, um, just to go back a little bit, completing completing some of these collections, you're gonna get those coin um, coin packs, and a lot of those packs have a chance at getting something very big in the pack. Um, more than likely, you're gonna get something big, in my opinion. Um, there are a lot of 15ks, but there you have a chance at a million coins. And these are the cards that, I, that you get coming back from the collection, which they are going to be starting on my team. That Mike Evans is a monster. Um, <laughs> I was playing with these cards uh, a couple days ago, and they are pretty pretty decent cards to play with. Um, I'm, I'm going to be showing my lineup after this video um, to catch up with you guys on who's starting on my team. And right there, we get a nice 15K, and we got three coin packs to go. And it just pretty much gets better from here. Um, but I did want to show you guys that it's possible to get good coin rewards right there. You see, I got 75,000 coins, which is just pretty cool. I mean, it's not that 500k or a million, but you know, you have a chance at opening up something pretty cool. Which right there, I get a 20k. But um, after this is after this part of the video is over, I'm gonna go transform. And show you my team. I want to catch you guys up to that. And right there, we get another 75,000 coin pack. So that is pretty cool. So within like seconds, I'm up to almost 200k, which is pretty nuts. But um, we're going to fast forward, and I'm going to show you my team and show you what's new. Because I did get a lot of new players, but this is more for my budget squad team now than I am running with. So let's go ahead and jump over and show you that right now. And we're back, so let's go ahead and check out this team that I got, that I put together. Um, I'm going to be rolling with this team for the rest of Mutt, but we got the Valda here. I think that's how you pronounce his name, left tackle. The new Tyler Lewan, uh right tackle, but I'm starting him over at left tackle instead, or left guard, as I should say. Um, Ryan Wendell, just a basic gold card. Then we got the new Jawan James from the Dolphins. Pretty beast of a card. Not gonna, it's not, you know, it's not great, but it's not the best. Um, then we got the Zach Martin card from Dallas. Um, this kid looks like a beast. I can't wait for him to start. Um, I heard he can play all five positions on the offensive line, so I'm psyched for that. Just in case any of our offensive linemen goes down. Then we got Reggie Bush. But I don't know why I didn't start Walter Payton. But then we got Marcel Reese at fullback. Go to the pass offense. And you can already see we got that 94 Johnny Manziel. This card already plays like a beast. Um, I can't imagine what that 99 plays like. I hear a lot of great things about it. So I can't wait to inquire that this weekend. Then we got Des Bryant uh, receiving passes from Johnny Manziel. You know. That's my boy Dez. He's going to be starting number one. We got Mike Evans over at number two. Um, 95 speed, 96 catching, 92 route running, 97 catch in traffic, 94 release, 92 spectacular catch. This card is a beast. Um, I've had some really, really nice plays with him. I would suggest picking him up. He's a beast of a receiver. Then we got Michael Irvin in the slot. Um, we also have, you know, the Jordy Nelson and Golden Tate. And the Deshaun Jackson back there, but they're just fill-ins. Then, of course, we're rolling with Kareem's favorite, the Glitch Davis. Um, I really can't, I haven't found any other tight end that I wanted to use. So, for some reason, I keep on giving him chances after chance after chance. So, 
but I'm not playing too much head to head recently because there's just so much cheese online I'm just tired of it and I'll just go and stick to playing solos for the rest of the year pretty much um, I'll play head to head here and there against a friend but not many head to head lately but uh the defensive front we got the fantasy Cameron Wake Darrell Casey at DT1 and J Jason Hatcher at number two then we have the new Marcus Smith past the draft um, card pretty decent card Lawrence Taylor we got Derek Johnson we got two Derek Johnson actually we be duping Derek Johnson over here <laughs> uh, but both cards fantasy and the playoff cards are both beast of cards and I said why not I could put in um John Beeson it would make my pass rush even better which I'm, I might go ahead and just do well hold on no Derek Johnson makes it over OP. I don't know. I did. I've been wanting to know. Well, John Beeson makes it. Yeah, John Beeson makes it 106 pass rush. It just doesn't show it. I forgot about that. But I guess I might roll with him and see how he plays. I, I haven't really played with him much. But then we got the new Cleo Mack. This card is a monster. Um, it's a very underrated card. He gets the quarterback pretty quick, and he, he can cover pretty good too. And we have the Dequa Dequez Denard. That's how you pronounce his name. I always butcher names, so yeah. 94 speed, 96 man, 94 zone. Not a bad card. 93 press. So he's a de he's a pretty good, decent card. Then we have Brent Grimes. This card is very underrated too. He always gets picks for me too. Uh, then we have a DRC in the slot where he fits best. Then we have. Terrence Newman, Keenan Lewis in the back, and Xavier Rhodes, and the Jason McCourty final edition. Um, I swapped them out here and there. Then we have the Earl Thomas Fantasy and the Roll final edition at strong safety. But that's pretty much the team I'm rolling with for, for the rest of Mutt. I might pick up some new cards here and there on the PS3 and take them over to PS4. But that's pretty much my lineup unless some other cards come out that I might want to pick up. But there's a lot of good cards out there that are actually falling down. I might do a video coming soon, like later this week or coming up, you know, tomorrow or something. Showing some of these really good cards that are just falling in price. So um, look for that. And until next time, guys, peace.